search or query is hugely important. Now, while traditional BI search looks for objects by using their current attributes, what if we're interested in looking at things from more of a historical or a pattern-based perspective? For instance, if someone wants to know how often a certain scenario is happening, we've got rental cards being issues on claims without any record of a coverage confirmation step, and then subsequently the claim is denied after the organization's already incurred the cost of the rental car. It seems like something that probably shouldn't happen, but by only using BI search, we'd have a very difficult, if not impossible, time answering that question. So you'll see I'll visually build out a query that explains that scenario. So we expect we've got a coverage confirmation step, followed by a rental car being issued on the claim, and then subsequently the claim was denied. But in this scenario, we've missed this coverage confirmation step. So you'll see that this has not happened, yet we've issued the rental car and the claim was then denied. Now if I click search, I get a very quick response time and can see actually with 91 claim instances, we've skipped the coverage confirmation, issued a rental car, and had the claim come back as being denied. And that, that was done extremely quickly and easily. Now the beauty of these queries is they don't need to be trivial either. So we can specify a number of other options from time constraints, the number of repetitions, or use specific values based on our attributes. So we'll add to this scenario that the rental car was returned after we sent the denial notice, but the time period between when the claim denial was sent and the rental car returned was greater than four days. So we'll say the claimant decided to take their time before they brought the car back again driving up the total cost of this claim. So you can see we can build time in very granularly between any of the given steps in this query. Now I've just added to that, I click search, and I can see actually in 44 different claims, the claimant decided to take their time bringing the car back greater than four days. Now, the ability to go off and explore and test a hypothesis like this is obviously pretty powerful. But another aspect of these queries is that you can set them up to trigger alerts. So we don't need to be sitting and babysitting this data all day long. We can configure alerts to fire off when conditions are met, making people aware that these specific cases are occurring, essentially building another level of accountability into our process.